What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. And this banger right here is legit the most requested video out of all of the videos, bro. So, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and roll the intro and get straight into this video. Alright y'all, so first disclaimer, you know what I'm saying? If you guys are expecting a video where I just sit here and talk shit about the tuner and talk shit about the people and just put out straight negativity, y'all can go ahead and click off this video right now, you feel me? Because that's not what's about to happen. Y'all know me, I'm all about positive vibes. I ain't got time for the childish games and stuff like that, you feel me? So I am here to literally just explain to you guys my experience getting my car tuned. Um, as you guys know, I recently got my car tuned. I want to say it's been about a month now since I got the car tuned. Um, and I went ahead and I went with MS Tuning, Matt Sorian, um, over there in Rosenberg, Texas. Texas, um, you know, highly reputable tuner. Um, J. Rod recommends them if you guys have been in the loop with all the videos and been, you know what I'm saying, staying tuned and you guys know J. Rod is, you know what I'm saying, somebody who really inspired me to get into the Camaro game, you know what I'm saying, especially the fifth gen to be specific. But anyway, went ahead and got the cartoon by Matt, you know what I'm saying, and as you guys saw um, in the multiple videos that I dropped, we had issues straight off the bat uh, with getting it tuned. Now, it's a little bit of backstory. I was supposed to get the car tuned for my birthday, bro. Are you gonna go? I don't understand. Like, if you're gonna go, go. But, like, like anyway, um, I was supposed to get the car tuned for my birthday, but then Houston had terrible weather the week of. Um, the streets froze over, it was snowing. People lost lot power, people lost water. It was bad, man, it was real bad. Um, so, the tune had to be postponed. Finally, we set a date that worked for both of us. Got the car tuned, as you guys seen in the video. Um, the car ended up making about 390 wheel horsepower and 410 torque. Um, I'm not gonna lie, joint is torquey as hell. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Turkey, torquey as hell. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Yeah, right? You feel me? Just got the car, went ahead and did the first drive, as you guys saw. If you guys saw that video, um, if not, it'll be linked to the end of this video. You guys can go check it out. Or I'm gonna go to the way it goes is there you guys can check it out um, but in the first drive I noticed that the transmission was shifting like really 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 aggressive um, straight off the bat and you know I've never had a tuned transmission yet alone a tuned car so I have no idea how you know what I'm saying it's supposed to feel how it's supposed to drive you feel me so at first I thought okay maybe this is just you know a part of the tune something you know to do with the tune is just aggressive you know that's all it is so then it took to where i was driving slow at normal speeds you know what i'm saying 35 cars at like cars shifting at like 3k rpm 2k rpm and it's still shifting that aggressive you feel me so that's when i felt like there was an issue and i shot a message over to you know matt and them now took them a while to reply which was you know unfortunate but we'll get to that <laughs> um but when they finally did they were saying that you know usually what happens is um it'll be the torque converter going out or you know the trans and 
I needed to check the transmission fluid. But they were like, you know, bring it on that back and, you know, we'll check it out. I'm like, all right, cool. So, ended up having to skip work and school, right? You feel me? Well, not work, not the first time. Skip school the first time so that I could go drop the car, take the car up there and get it fixed, right? Get there, go on the test drive, get the car, te uh, you know what I'm saying? Checked out, I guess you could say, um, which is also in another video that I dropped, you know what I'm saying? All of these, vi like everything that you guys saw, you guys were seeing everything, it's just you guys were seeing like the bare minimum, I guess you could say. Um, you feel me? It was it was like a lot of stuff that happened off camera. You feel me? That got got us to this point. Um, but yeah, man. So they went ahead and they added more pressure to the lines. Um, and I was supposed to fix the issue. It was still shifting funky or whatever. It hit them back up. Ended up getting left on red a couple times. Really, a lot of times. You feel me? And I get it. You know, this is a business, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got a lot of stuff on y'all hands, whoopie whoop, whatever. But to leave the message on red was just a slap in the face to me because here I am, you know what I'm saying, coming to you guys because I know you guys can tune my car. I know you guys are familiar with my platform. You feel me? I know I, I'm, my car is supposed to be in good hands when I'm going to you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I go to you. So for you to sit here and leave the message on red, tunnel run. But anyway, to leave my messages on red, knowing the circumstances of the situation and what's going on, it's just like a slap in my face as in like, bro, I just gave you $500. The tune was $500, you know what I'm saying? So. With that being said, I just feel like you should at least have the decency to reply to a message instead of just leaving it on red. Like, it's different if you were busy and just didn't reply and left it on deliver. You feel me? That's different. But to open it, read it, and then not reply, but still post on the back end, keep posting on Instagram on your story dropping photos and all that it's like bro i know you on social media why are you bsing you feel me so that's that stuff right there really uh set set it off for me that was the turning point for me that's when i started to get upset and i was like you know what at this point i'm just gonna look around for other tuners because as you guys know um at the time i was trying to go out to dallas uh, for the demonology YouTube call out so I need my car bro you feel me I already had to go two years prior without my car well yeah two years prior now without my car because the transmission if you guys have been rocking with the channel you already know the transmission on Mamba gave out you know what I'm saying two two maybe three and a half weeks after taking ownership so it's a brand new transmission, brand new torque converter, you know what I'm saying? Back to the point where they were saying like, you know, usually what happens is, you know, it's the torque converter or the transmission. I'm like, bro, I know my car has a hundred, almost a hundred something mile, you feel me? But the transmission has like 20,000 because it's brand new. So there's no way that that should be an issue, you feel me? So a couple days go by, man, I've been looking for, you know, another tuner. That's a different story. A whole bunch of stuff happened. Not on Creed's end. Not on. It was just. It was just. I don't know. You feel me? I guess it wasn't meant to be. A whole bunch of stuff happened, and we couldn't make it work. We couldn't link up. You know what I'm saying? It didn't end up happening. So went ahead, went back, and got the car fixed. Right now we're back to this point. So at this point, they've unfollowed me on Instagram. <laughs> Believing me on red, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and then getting upset with me like I'm the one in the wrong. You feel me? So I reached out to J Rod. You know, J Rod basically, J Rod hit me up and he was like, Hey, 
how's the car, you know what I'm saying, how's it running? He dropped a comment on one of the pictures. And so I reached out to him and I told him, I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. And he was like, oh man, you should have went through me to get the car tuned. You know what I'm saying? That way I could have made sure that your car was running right and everything was perfect, that it was done correctly. And I'm like, I appreciate that, my man, I really do. But at the end of the day, this is what they do. This is your job. I shouldn't have to worry. Yes, I know. Don't get it twisted. I know this is car shit. Shit's gonna happen. Stuff's gonna happen. But at the end of the day, it's not the situation that makes you. It's not the problem that makes you. It's how you react. It's what you do after the fact. You feel me? Yes, they got it fixed. But during the process of trying to get it fixed, y'all switched up. And I was just left like, damn, what the hell? Did I do? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I was making videos, but in none of the videos did I ever shame them? Did I ever bad talk them? Did I ever BS? Yet alone even disclose the name of the tuner? You feel me? I said nothing. And every time y'all would comment and, and ask me to speak on it, I would tell y'all I'm going to speak on it after the situation is over. Because I want to see how it plays out so I can actually give y'all my opinion um, and actually talk to y'all about the situation with a clear head from my actual head not my emotions you feel me because at the time I'm pissed off so of course what I'm finna say is finna come out pissed off you feel me finna come out aggressive of course and I'm not trying to do that that's not me you feel me so like anyway push comes to shove end up going through uh, J-Rod leave the car for about 24 hours you feel me so now I can't go to school again can't go to school the next day and now I gotta leave early from work so I can go pick up my car Rosenberg Texas to give you guys um, a good idea is about a 45 minute drive from where I live um, and that's without traffic you feel me so one I gotta go drop the car off over there then two I gotta get a ride back fill that tank up then three gotta get a ride back over there fill that tank up pick up my car drive back fill that tank up you know what I'm saying still can't go to work can't go to school luckily the guys at my job rock with me so heavy and we got such a great team you feel me at the job that everybody picked up the slack for a couple of hours so I could go get my car I appreciate that but what if they didn't want to? Then I would have had to call off and miss out on money again. You feel me? So, hey, man. It was it was just a very frustrating situation um, overall. Did the car get fixed? Hell yeah. Does the car feel great? Yes. Fucking right. You damn right. You bet your ass. It feels amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But am I happy with the situation? No. Do I feel like it could have been handled better? Yes. Am I happy that it did get resolved? Of course. I, all At the end of the day, all I wanted was my car to run right. I just wanted my car tuned, man. I'm not trying to be the fastest cat out here. It's my daily driver, bro. You feel me? I just want, if a dude pull up next to me and get to revving and hee hawing and doing all the extras, you feel me? Trying to tee up next to me, I could tee up too. You feel me? So, with all of that said, man, like I said, this video was not here to badmouth the tuners or talk shit about Matt and them. Hey, great guys over there. They do great work. You feel me? This situation was just not it. You know what I'm saying? And will I be going back to them in the future for retunes and stuff like that when we go E85? I mean, <coughs> what? 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 What the fuck? What? What? Russell Westbrook? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> but, yeah, man. Nah, I won't, to be honest with you. Because I just personally feel like my money spends just as well as everybody else's money. Uh, you're a grown man, just like I'm a grown man. At the end of the day, I'm coming to you to do a service. I shouldn't have to have somebody basically chaperone and, and and watch you for you to do the job right or make sure that the car runs right if the car was to have a mechanical issue 
then I would completely understand and that would be a completely different situation. But it was definitely the tune because the car drove perfectly fine in sport, but was slipping in drive. Everything was fine with the paddle shifters. Everything was fine with every other uh, setting, you know what I'm saying? Every other gear, but drive. So it had to be the tune. And for them to have treat me that way, and react to the situation, handle the situation that way. Hey man, you feel me? I wish you guys the best, but I'm not rocking with that. So, do I recommend them to you guys? You feel me? Which I know is gonna be the next question. I'ma keep it a buck. It's different, just like my boy Money say. Different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? My situation could be unique to me. My situation, which, hey, a lot of people came up and said that they had similar issues or they had issues with Matt and them, but that's, that's what comes with the game. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, it's up to you, bro. All you, all I can do is tell y'all what happened to me. I can't tell y'all what's going to happen to you. I can't predict the future. I can't sit here and say he's terrible at what he does because everybody in their mama knows he's not but I I also can't sit here and tell y'all that this man did my car perfect because he it, it had its issues bro you feel me but yeah man with all that being said that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video if you guys have had issues with your tuners or you guys are tuned, let me know down in the comment section down below who are you tuned by, what you guys are making horsepower wise, uh, what numbers did your car make and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because I got a lot of content coming, man. I'm back. It's grind time. About to start getting into YouTube lives and stuff like that. Make sure you tap in and get your merch. Uh, the Instagram is right there. You dig? But... With all that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.